Here is the Stamp Timber exclusive with Simon Says Stamp and Reverse Confetti. This is called Fa La La Trees. And look at how cool these big trees are with different ways that we can layer color in. Super fun greetings, little bases, stars, a little extra detail here and some really sweet greetings for the holidays. So this is what I'm going to be using today. And I've pulled six inks right now because I'm thinking of making a card with three trees and taking little pairs in the lighter color of the trio and the darker color from the Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink Collection. Let's get my Misty tool out and we'll get started stamping. We're gonna go ahead and pick up this background. So I'm going to create some lighter backgrounds and then stamp on some detail. I'm going to start with the lighter of the two. This is celery. We'll ink it up, ink up my stamp really well. I'm gonna bring this down, grab my press tool and press to transfer the ink. I will reposition my cardstock and stamp it a second time to get a great coverage on this image. And press. Of course, the Simon ink smooths out beautifully as it begins to dry. Before I add the detail, I'm going to do another background. I'm going to use spring. Okay, make sure that's positioned. Bring this down and press. Pick it up. And bring that down. And again, transfer. All right, those are my first two backgrounds. I'm gonna bring in one more piece of cardstock here. I might actually do a couple extras. I'm thinking of using three trees, but here I'm going to use Tide Pool. I'm not really sure yet. But let's let's get these stamped out. Like that again, reposition in the exact same spot, and go ahead and ink that up again. Bring that down. That looks great. I think I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to do this one here just as a different option. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what's kind of cool about these trees is you can layer them in different ways to really create some cool graphic effects. All right, very sticky. Again, let's prime this a little. I'm going to ink it up again with the Tide Pool because I have an idea that I might switch to. So let's get that down and press. We're going to stamp one more here and press. So, oh, no, I didn't have that lined up. <laughs> I'm going to redo that one. I think while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and redo the other one off camera, and then we'll be ready to move on to the second layer of stamping. I am going to take this and see what this looks like. Oh, let's get tape off there. See what this looks like in this nice, dark overlay. Picking both of these up, because I don't know which one I will use. And we'll bring in the darker color here, which is Aegean. I can do these both at the same time because they're, the, they're the same color. Getting a, little, getting a little crazy. In the corner and stamp. Pick this up. Ooh, I actually really like the offset. Wow, that's kind of cool. But I will stamp this one again. Loving that offset. I think it's very cute. And we're going to stamp this down like this. All right. So I have trees here. Actually, I just had a change of heart. I am so loving these colors. I'm going to set this aside for now. And I am going to stamp this stripy background in the lighter of the two from the Aegean. Check this out. I have an idea. I think it will look cool. Sometimes when I start stamping, I change my mind, right? And that's the beauty of card making is sometimes you're going to change your mind. And I actually think 
this is going to look really cool to go rather than analogous color we are going to go completely monochromatic with just two inks so you never know you never know what's going to happen when you're making cards let's get that another round there now i will take the aegean outline get that as close to lined up as i can take this off and oh make sure that's positioned pick it up and we will stamp with the darker aegean I love it. Oh, I kind of missed the top though. Let's see if we can press that in. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> okay, we'll get up there. Get up there. Make sure that's there. And now give it one more like that. Okay, I actually like this idea better because now I have three trees that have very much the same tone for my card. A little hot tip time. I love little scissors when I have fussy cut detail, but when I have something with really straight lines, and again, there are coordinating dies for this. However, I love to bring in these scissors because you can get one side cut off so easily. You can make your, uh, let's see, I like to do this too. You can make it as wide or as narrow as you like, right? You can, oh, I love this, okay. But again, sometimes this is the easiest way when you have really big, long sides. Then what you do is you fussy cut with the smaller scissors for this detail area. So I'm just gonna do this on all three. I've got the long sides cut, and then I can come in here with the little scissors and just follow but again i like this cardstock for this very reason because it is so easy to cut compared to the 100 pound which i just find to be a little you know it's a little a little harder to get those nice smooth edges so come around the best of our ability and tree number one is cut and i'll go ahead and cut these off we can start designing our panel. Now that I have three trees, I'm also going to cut out or stamp and cut out three stumps for my trees. And I'm going to keep these really simple. I think I'll just do, let's see, let's do a nice little light color for the base. This is latte. I think this will look nice with, uh, uh, how do I do this? I guess I'll go up a little. The nice thing about the Misty is you can hang your paper outside of what you are stamping it's going to be just fine it's not going to bend your paper so even if you have this smaller misty like i'm using here you will be okay for getting all of those stamped and let's just come up one little bit more here and go like this okay okay and that will give me three little stems. I don't think I'm going to do the outline on the stems. I'm just going to cut these really quickly also with my scissors. And then we'll start planning out where the greeting's going to go on our card. As I am looking at what this would look like on a regular USA 2, I know that I'm going to have to do a larger card. So I'm going to do a five by seven because I feel like, you know, you have all this cuteness. And why would I want to waste any of that? Now, I'm not sure exactly what the placement will be. I'm just going to start playing with an arrangement that might work. So I want to show you again how you can use the smaller Misty because this panel is going to be right a little too large, but that's okay. I'm still going to magnet this down. And I think I'm going to stamp this probably in a Versamark right, and emboss in silver. Oh, I think this will be pretty. So I know my center tree will be about there. Oh, I, had, I got a little ink on there. Let's uh, flip sides, <laughs> forgot to wipe that down. And we'll go ahead and powder this up with anti-static powder. All right, bring that down and press. See, 
that will be just fine. I think I'll hit it one more time. All right, let's get our powder. All right. That looks beautiful. All right, I think before I melt this, I'm actually going to stamp my stars. I'm just going to visualize a tree and that will help me to place these stars. Oh, I guess I should move my magnet in a little. All right, and we'll stamp these little friends. Same thing with the Versamark. And I'll just use my fingers here and here like that. Then I think what I'll do with those there is add one more star up and over here, just for a continuation like that. All right. I don't want to overdo it. I think that will be nice. So one, two, three. I think that will be nice. Funnel that in. I'm going to make my note card. So this is 10 by seven. And when I score it, let's just come in here. Oh, let's see, I just went completely crooked. Go five, okay. You go down as far as you can go because I don't have a large score, scoring tool, pal, buddy. And then just finish it right there. Of course, this will be a side folding card. All right, we're gonna give that a nice press. I'm going to be using the new Simon Says Stamp foam tape. Simon now has a foam tape. It's a really nice width and a really nice dimension. And I'm going to go ahead and release that and pop this onto the back of my card panel to create a nice amount of lift. All right. All right. That will be enough to hold this nicely and again this is a five by seven card so a little you know, a little bigger than i usually do meaning like i almost never do five by sevens this is very exciting for me to have a larger card and we are doing the white on white so this whole tone effect and now i'll just kind of come in here and i do want my trees here these lower ones to be just a little bit outside so I might have to move might have to move my foam square in just a little this is just a little bit of connect glue from Gina K designs come on over and make sure that we are over enough that we're not completely out of the boundary All right again make sure it's about the same that looks good. Okay, like that. And you need to just float right above, right overlapping and pointing right into the center. Then we'll just take our little tree stumps here, put a little liquid glue on because these can just go right onto the card base itself. Like that. Slide that into the center. Sure that's straight too. Come on over a little. Oh, come on. There we go. That's better. This is why I like liquid glue for the last little touches because it makes it so much easier 
to get your positioning right. Okay. Okay. And our trees are placed like that. Oh, that's so fun. All right, I'm just going to add a little more shine here. To finish off this card, I'm just gonna add some little shiny, dazzling diamonds. These are from Gina K Designs. Any shiny sequin would do, but I just think this is kind of how to go from cool to next level. So getting these down, Boop. and they're very shiny and silvery. Oh, I love it. Boop. Also to fill in just a little of those spaces. And the last one is whoop, right there. And that's the finished card project. So I made this big old card, monochromatic though. And that's what's kind of cool. I didn't realize it once until I got going, but honestly, it's so cool how you can just take two colors of ink, right? Do some layered stamping and just kind of create this look. I love it. You can find links to all of the supplies I used in this project today below in the YouTube description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you back here with another card project soon. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.